In this video, we are excited to review the Droplet Digital PCR or DDPCR whole cell DNA workflow. With this simple workflow, you can accurately quantify the proportion of genetically modified cells in a sample. To do this, intact cells are encapsulated in droplets and used in a standard DDPCR reaction. This workflow can be used for a wide variety of applications, such as monitoring of transgenic CAR T cells or CRISPR Cas9 modified cells. This workflow provides the fastest, easiest, and least expensive way to measure cell modifications at the DNA level. First, prepare your cells. Fresh or frozen eukaryotic cells and nucleosomal preparations may be used. We recommend washing and resuspending cells one to two times in phosphate buffered saline with 0.1% bovine serum albumin before counting and adding cells to the DDPCR reaction. Next, count your cells. We recommend checking replicates with BioRed's TC20 automated cell counter for an accurate cell count and assessment of cell viability. A count of 4,000 cells per microliter in 5 microliters, or 20,000 cells total, is recommended for detection of an edit frequency down to 0.1%. Keep cells on ice until they are added to the DDPCR reaction. It is important to wait to prepare the DDPCR reaction until the cells are on ice and ready to be added to the master mix. This ensures that all reaction components are fresh, which has an impact on workflow success. Prepare the DDPCR master mix with all components according to Table 1 in the Whole Cell DNA Workflow Protocol, Bulletin Number 7321. Vortex the master mix well and pipette it into a micro centrifuge tube. Vortex cell suspensions to resuspend cells, then add to the one time DDPCR reaction and mix well by vortexing. It is critical to thoroughly vortex the cells immediately before they are added to the tubes, and then vortex the reaction after the cells are added. Once cells have been added to the master mix, droplets must be made within 5 minutes. Use the standard DDPCR protocol for droplet generation, 20 microliters of reaction mix, and 70 microliters of droplet generator oil. Refer to the QX200 droplet generator instruction manual, document number 10031907, for full instructions. Seal plate and thermal cycle according to Table 2 in the Whole Cell DNA Workflow Protocol. Proceed to reading of droplets in the QX200 droplet reader. Read droplets within 24 hours of thermal cycling completion. This workflow normally generates slightly fewer droplets than other reactions. It is not unusual to see 10,000 droplets or fewer per well. Analyze the data using Quantasoft software version 1.7, Quantasoft Analysis Pro software, or QX Manager software. QX Manager software may be used for the triplexing method. After carefully labeling the wells, set the thresholds. The reported concentrations in copies per microliter from the software are directly equivalent to cells per microliter when performing the whole cell DNA workflow. Copies per microliter for total cells will come from the two reference assays, RPP30 and SOD1. The number of total cells per microliter determined by the two reference assays should be equal for each reaction. Linkage concentrations can be used to exclude any single positives caused by free-floating DNA. These data can be found by clicking on the Import-Export button and then clicking on Export Linkage Data. The concentration number reported for each pairwise comparison is the number of cells per microliter that are positive for both reference assays. Always calculate the percent linkage of your control reactions, RPP30 and SOD1. This is an important control to ensure that the protocol was well executed. To calculate percent linkage, 
Divide the linkage concentration in copies per microliter by the concentration, also in copies per microliter, and then multiply by 100. In this example, we have a linkage concentration of 505 copies per microliter for RPP30 and SOD1, and an SOD1 concentration of 507 copies per microliter for a calculated 99% linkage, as expected. Ideally, linkage should be greater than 90% when following the protocol instructions. Visit biorad.com slash ddpcr dash whole cell for more information.